I'm here at the Insta Karma Lounge at the Cabin at the Sundance Film Festival. I'm here talking to Agnes and Catherine Gunn and your documentary a Aggie. Yeah. Uh, and this is your mother. This and is my is mother, so and she is. <laughs> you know, because I have a mother too. You know, yeah. she's, in the, she's in her early That's 80s, it. and I just love her to death. That's yeah. What I that's what she is too. But I know this for a fact. She would never even let me take her picture, let alone do a documentary. So what kind of discussions were there yeah. when you came well, to say, Mom? I can't tell you how grateful I am that she let me make the film because I think there's so much for people to learn from her example. And she is notoriously shy and was a very reluctant subject, which we play with in the movie. But it was really a privilege to be able to do it. I learned things, but also I just hope that there's so much that can come out of it about women's leadership, about arts education, about philanthropy, and about criminal justice reform. And, you know, Agnes, you made the ultimate sacrifice by selling a, a, a Wittgenstein, Lichtenstein, Lichtenstein uh, to uh, promote your cause for criminal reform, justice reform. Yeah. And uh, was it easy for you to make that decision? Well, it, uh, you know, it's just a thing. And after a while, you understand that, that what it can do is much more valuable than what we had it, when we had it on our wall. And um, as a matter of fact, I, I think that it really taught me that you can um, give something away when you've enjoyed it and been able to live with it for a long time. I also knew um, Roy well. He was on our studio the artist. school board. And then um, I, I know his widow very well. His wife. So. And there's so many aspects to criminal reform justice. President Obama started it because uh, mm -hmm. it hasn't been talked about in decades. And, mm -hmm. and the one that's close to, to my heart in, in reform is prisons are privatized now. They oh, need customers. Horrible. I know there's many issues with criminal reform there justice, are, but, but they a... need customers. And I, I think that is such a bad way to, to go down that route by putting private well, companies. It is, it's a horrible way and it is so cynical and it's clearly not about rehabilitation or about community or about keeping families together or even about safety. And at base, this should be about keeping us all safe and making communities healthy. And that is not doing it. it that is a profit model and it's treating people like cogs in a machine. Well, you know, in Hollywood, they, uh, they get the final cut. Did you have final cut of your movie since you're the subject matter? No, she did not. But she did get she to see it. She didn't have the power it. to have final cut of her own movie? No, I had to have a little journalistic integrity. I mean, we definitely collaborated, and I think the goodwill comes from both sides. But it wasn't. She's, you're not a filmmaker, right? <laughs> no, so I, I went ahead and I'll I... I'll be your agent next I time. I'll get your final cut. <laughs> okay. Yeah, all right. And uh, so, uh, finally, for your film, what is there a call for action? What can viewers, after seeing Aggie, what can they do? Because I know when I walk away from yeah. a film like this, I want to contribute. There are so many things people can do. I would say first to go to the Art for Justice Fund website and learn about all of the different strategies, the artists, the narrative change that we're involved with and that our groups are, are leading. I think it's really important at this point that to follow the formerly incarcerated leaders, that they know they're closer to the problem, they're closer to the solutions, and we need to be listening to them and following them. And there's a lot of formerly incarcerated leadership groups that are funded by us, and I would look and learn about them. I think learning about uh, Brian Stevenson, reading Just Mercy or seeing the new movie is a great way to start. Powerful and film. as a filmmaker, yeah. it was meaningful to me that Aggie did this because she saw Ava DuVernay's film 13th. Yes. That's what inspired her. So I think for filmmakers, we should feel good about what we can create and what we could inspire and that people should just keep moving and everyone can do something. It's amazing the power of cinema and you're right at the forefront with this, Aggie. And it really makes a difference to see the film do as much as this one and many of the films that are at Sundance now. Well, good yeah. luck with the rest of Sundance. I'm gonna call my mom because I just <laughs> I just love go. this woman. I'm gonna call her right now and go, Mom, I love you. <laughs> so you thank go. you so much for coming. Thank you, what a nice interview. Take care. Thanks. That was nice. That was great and you're so